Okay, so I have this fireplace I'm going to be tiling. They're going to put a, a gas unit in here, but they want to tile all the bricks. I'm going to change that and uh, uh, other stuff, I guess. So I'm going to get to it right now. Okay, so I got all that up, and now I'm gonna put some duroc on these, and then I'll skim coat that and put some detour on it. So, um, I'm just uh, gonna drill a few holes through the duroc and into the brick, and I'm trying to I'm gonna try and hit the, uh, the mortar joints in the brick, but uh, this this drill bit will go through the, the brick anyway it'll just go through, it'll go through the mortar a little bit easier and the reason I'm drilling these holes is uh, I'm gonna put three screws on each piece of this duroc and it's just to hold the uh, duroc in place uh, while the mortar under it sets uh, it's not the fasteners aren't there as uh, the uh, as a permanent way to um, hold the duroc in place That'll the um, what's going to actually hold the mortar and bond the uh, the um, duroc to the brick is going to be the thin set. And the um, these anchors are just a temporary um, measure, uh, just so that uh, the, the it doesn't move away from the brick and doesn't slide. And so that's I'm going to be doing that around the whole uh, fireplace. Just using a polymer modified thin set uh, with a, um, uh, I think this is a 3 8 inch by a quarter inch square notch trowel, and uh, I'm going to back butter the, um, the brick or, or use the flat side of the trowel to key the thin set into the brick and fill any voids between the uh, the bricks in the mortar joints and then I'm gonna back butter with the notch side of the trowel the uh, the duroc and then I'm gonna put it in place and use uh, the screws that I had put you know drill the holes for to just hold it in place and uh, then I'm just gonna um, use like a little beta block just to make sure that the uh, duroc is actually well bonded and set into the uh, the brick and uh, I'm going to do that for all three sections here of the mortar. And the reason I, I um, drill the holes first and uh, put all, all the pieces in place first is so that uh, I, I could know exactly where to place the duroc uh, and uh, line up the holes without uh, having, having a problem. Uh, and so, you know, I just pre-cut everything and pre-fit everything and then you just take down one piece at a time and uh, do it that way and just uh, a little bit easier this way.
because the um, gas unit that's going in here is going to be a little smaller than the opening um, they needed me to reduce the height of the top part of the fireplace where the um, where the brick was so I had to come down a couple of inches more than uh, where the brick ended and uh, so that part there is just like a half inch of Duroc so to reinforce that so that it doesn't um, so it's you know stronger uh, what I'm doing is I'm adhering two pieces of Duroc together with thinset and then I am going to um, adhere that to the back part of the Duroc and uh, then I'm going you know with um, with thinset and then I'm going to clamp it on there and throw some screws in just to hold everything together uh, until it dries. And that will reinforce that little section there and make it quite uh, firm. And then I'm going to actually uh, put some thin set on the top edge of this strip here. Uh, and, and then push it up, up, up against the brick on the inside so that it actually uh, bonds to uh, the brick. And it's going to be, you know, quite firm. And... Um, really is it's not necessary to do this because uh, when, once you put the tile on and and uh, it's not really gonna be uh, a problem but you know this is just like a little insurance just to make sure it's a little little firmer and the customer you know felt better uh, with me doing this so that's that's why I did that and uh, it's actually I thought it was a good idea so uh, that's what I'm doing right here Um, getting to the uh, bottom part of the fireplace, the part on the floor here, um, I took out all those uh, old quarry tiles which were very thick, they were about a half inch uh, or more thick, uh, and um, so I skim coated the uh, mud that was there, uh, the base, to fill in all the voids, and now I, uh, I'm using um, my trowel and I'm going to spread some thin set. I'm actually using uh, a deeper trowel than I would normally use uh, for this because uh, the skin coat I put on there is still uh, a little um, soft so I just want to make sure I get good coverage for the uh, Dietra. And I'm using Dietra XL uh, on top of this and the reason I'm doing that is because um, the Dietra XL is designed to uh, bring uh, your tile uh, to the same height as uh, the hardwood floor and uh, so it's just happened to work out you know to be the perfect height to put it in so I'm gonna uh, set this Dietra in and then uh, I'm just gonna walk away from this and come back uh, tomorrow and set the tile so that's uh, basically what I'm doing here Okay, so I got a brace on here, so when I put the tile across the top, it's not going to sag down. And now I'm going to make some thin set and stop on this tile up. Basically, uh, the way I'm setting this tile is I am uh, back using the flat sided trowel to um, key the thin set into the Duroc, and then I'm uh, back battering the tile with the right amount of uh, thin set, and then I'm putting it in place. And as I said, those uh, that brace is there so that the tile doesn't slide down. And between each piece of tile here, there's going to be uh, a mosaic glass. Uh, tile um, marble or stone mix of tile and what I'm uh, doing is I'm because the, the um, that mosaic tile is thinner than the uh, the large format tile uh, I'm gonna put like a little piece of uh, regular Dietra uh, under it and then I'm gonna put the tile on top of it uh, just 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 so it'll bring the um, the little border tile out to the same height as the uh, 
the large tiles and uh, so just going to do that all, all the way around. And that's the top row. Now it's going to be a, a board and a full piece on the bottom. So that's the high place next to the floor out of the high place. set this tile um, just to make my life these are six inch by 24 inch uh, plank tiles and um, just to make, make my life a little bit easier I'm going to use the uh, a leveling system and in this case it's the progress profile pro leveling system so one I use uh, pretty much all the time and um, it's just gonna make it just makes it easier because the um, the edges of these tiles are square the um, it's going to be uh, a half running bar and so uh, the tiles are going to be halfway and plank tiles are very rarely flat uh, so this is just going to help me uh, get a nice flat uh, a floor here on this uh, you know little area here and um, so, you know, I just decided to use this uh, lovely system just to make my life a little bit easier. And it works really good.
obviously I'm grouting uh, this area here and uh, this is black grout and just take it from me if you ever grout with uh, black grout just make sure you cover everything really good because this stuff is like grouting with tie it just gets everywhere and it stains very easily so just uh, make sure you protect any area uh, that you don't want to get dirty uh, and um, because it can really make a mess but anyway I'm just um, grouting this area now and then uh, I'm going to wash it down and I'm going to be all done with this uh, fireplace. And that's it.